Hey guys, so I'm coming at you with my one month update on my no buy year. If you hear a lot of chaos in the background, uh, my kid and my dog are barking at each other. Yes, very strange, but it's just how we roll. So anyways, um, it's been almost a month. I'll probably post this before it's an official month because I'm going on a work trip on Wednesday and I won't get back until Saturday. So, and then the Saturday I have a wedding to shoot. It's going to be a a long week. So with that said, the no bite year is actually going really well so far. Um, I think I showed you guys before where I had cleaned out my closet and uh, been keeping my room really clean. Um, so that's been really cool. I think it's been a lot easier to keep things clean and organized because I have less stuff. Um, and, I've, and I've actually come up with some really, really cute outfits and stuff like that. So I will post some of those here. I haven't posted as much as I had anticipated I would, but work's been nuts. So as far as self-care goes... Um, I started the, the year off strong, so like two weeks in, I was like working out and trying to eat better, and then into the third week, we've just had chaos with work. Um, there's a lot more work involved this year than there ever has been in the last five years that I've been there, and I think it's just because any any change is, is not easy. I mean, it always is a lot of work, so we're going through a huge change, and I think uh, we're close to ending that, and so I've just given myself some grace and been like, you know what? It's all good. Just do what you can. So when I can fit a workout in, I will. Um, I'm trying to do better. I got this Ninja blender. Um, and when I say no buy, uh, if you haven't watched my previous video, it's not buying any clothes or like beauty products. So um, I have been focusing on updating our kitchen. So I got some new pots and pans because as an adult, I started thinking about it. And I'm like, oh my God, this is, this is terrible. But as an adult, I have never bought a proper set of pots and pans. I've always been given them from, my, like, my parents. You know, like, here's a, a pot that we don't want anymore, a pan that we don't want anymore. So it's always just kind of been that way. And um, so I bought, like, a nice set, and I just got rid of everything except for that set because that's all I need. I mean, I don't need, you know, a whole set of pans to cook dinner with. So um, I've been slowly minimizing our kitchen and replacing things with more eco-friendly things. So, like, for instance, Tupperware. We had, like, two whole sections of a cabinet with Tupperware that had no lids. I'm like, why do we keep this in here? Um, so I threw all of that out, um, well, donated it, and then I bought these glass uh, Tupperware with the with the lids that snap on, which is actually really great because as I've been cooking, I've been, um, I've been able to quickly throw those in the microwave or the oven if I need to heat things up, and I know that we're going to use them over and over and over again, so... Pretty excited about that. Um, one other thing that I bought was a Ninja, it's like a blender slash food processor because I've been um, really focused on meal prep and trying to be healthy. Um, so I have been cooking a lot and using that and it's actually pretty awesome. Um, so that is that. I've really just been focusing on continuing to clean and organize and minimize and stick with just the basics. So that said, I have not bought any beauty products, have not bought any clothes this month. I haven't wanted to buy anything, which has been really, really cool. Um, but some of the things I've been doing is just loving what I have. So I was going to show you guys really quick my makeup routine that I've been doing lately. I'm not actually going to put it on, but it's kind of, this is what I've had on all day. And I'll show you how I made this look. Um, so I had, I had like three of these little, they're the CoverGirl uh, Healthy Vitalist Elixir. Um, I had three of these, and I, I don't know why I had three. Um, and I always loved this stuff before, but I guess I went on this mission to find the perfect foundation. And I literally, I think I showed you guys a drawer. I have like 20,000 foundations, but I knew I liked this. I'm not a big fan of like a matte look. Um, this is more of like a satiny look and it's supposed to be like full coverage depending on how much you layer on, but I'm not really a full coverage girl. So I use a very little bit of it, but I start out with this, put that on my face. Sorry. I have my whole shebang over here. Actually, before I put that on, I had this L'Oreal Infallible, Infallible Pro Glow um, Concealer that I bought, and the reason why I didn't use it, it has this, this really weird, like, chemical sort of smell, and it made my eyes really sensitive, but I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and use it up. So I put this under my eyes before I put on my foundation, and it actually stays, like, all day. I, since I've been using this, my makeup stays on really well. I don't have, like, dark circles under my eyes, which I do have a light directly above me, so it's probably casting a shadow. Um, so I put this under my eyes, then I put this on. Um, hang on, let's see. Then just to kind of like look more natural, like, oh, this is my skin, this isn't makeup, I use this uh, L'Oreal Visible Lift Luminous Serum Tint. Looks like this. You can get it at Walgreens or whatever. This is in the color Honey. 
And on some, most days I don't wear foundation. I'll just put this stuff on. It makes my skin kind of glowy and nice. But whenever I'm having like a breakout or like, you know, things just aren't looking too hot, um, I will uh, put my makeup on over it. Okay. So you guys have all seen these. My tried and true Daniel Sandler watercolor blush in, um, well, they're both blushes, but one I use as a, as a bronzer. I've had both of these for like over a year. This one's getting pretty close to being empty, and like I told you guys before, my staples that I use all the time, I will actually repurchase, um, but only if I run out. So this one's really close. This one's still extremely full because I literally just use one dot every time I do. I use these as blush, bronzer, eyeshadow, you name it. I put the pink on my lips sometimes, so these are great. I've been loving and using them, but um, I've always loved and used them. I use them all summer. Um, let's see. So... I rediscovered my lip scents collection. I literally have like, I don't know, probably like 30 different colors of lip scents. And that's what I have on my lips right now. It's been on all day. It's the type of stuff that you put on and that stuff does not come off. Um, so I figured I might as well use it. I mean, these are expensive. These are $25 a piece and I have like 30. So you do the math on that. Um, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to start using these again. Use them up. Um, so I've been using these, loving these. Um, this color is Plumeria. So it's more of like a reddish pink color. And then um, I have my tried and true little eyelash curler here. Um, I don't even know what it is, like what brand, but I've used it forever and ever and ever. And I probably should buy a new one, but I'm not because I'm not buying stuff this year. Um, and then finally, I had several mascaras. I love Maybelline mascaras. So I've been using the Falsies Push Up Drama. Um, this was one that was left over. I used to buy these in bulk because... Walgreens always has like a buy one get one free so every time they would do that I would pick two up instead of just one and then I have lash sensation so I've been using these my lashes are a little wacky right now because I have been stressed out with work and if you know me I pull my lashes out so um that's pretty much my makeup routine um a couple other things that I use I've been using um this it perfect lighting I put this under my eyes after I do my makeup and it just kind of gives me like this glowy look and makes it not look so wrinkly under there because you know we all think a girl's getting a little old and then finally the Lorac Pro to go I've had this forever I think I paid like 12 bucks for it at like a Marshall's or TJ Maxx but I literally reach for this every day I've had it for a long time you can tell it's all kinds of nasty um but it's just your basic colors here I use mostly these two here and then this for like a highlight and then there's also these back here, which you can tell I barely ever use these, but sometimes I'll use them as eyeshadows, even though they're like blushes and a contour. Um, so it's been nice to sort of rediscover the stuff that I have. Um, so that's been really, really cool. Uh, what else can I tell you? I would say that regardless of all the stress and anxiety from work, I feel at peace when I get home or like whenever I'm at home. It's nice to come home and have my bed made or like to have my room organized and what I've been doing, too, is I've been picking out my outfits every night before I go to work, just so my life is not so stressful. And like I said, I've been kind of shopping my closet. So um, I just, I look on Pinterest, I'll find an outfit that I think looks really cute, and then I'll pick out things from my closet that I know will look very similar and really cute. So I will show you some screenshots, you know, all around so you can kind of see the outfits that I've thrown together for inspiration. I did just also purge my phone of like all pictures and I put them on my little um, external hard drive that I keep all of my photography pictures in too. So if you're a photography client of mine, I have saved all of your photos. So if you ever like five years from now are like, holy crap, I like lost this. They're here. Um, but basically I cleaned out my phone, put everything on it. Um, and I just have like pictures I've taken from the last month. So I, I plan to do that every like six months just to keep the clutter out of my life. So it's been awesome. I really feel like I'm starting to get my life together. Um, and it's also been really nice for my my paycheck. Um, I'm not spending money like I, I used to do. I think my dog's trying to get my room. Yep, here he comes. Hi, Ralph, you want to come say hi? Yeah, so I'm not spending money like I used to. Um, so a lot of things that I noticed this month. Hang on, my puppy wants to come say hi. Say hello. <laughs> Are you hot? Um, so I will say, like, uh, I noticed this past month I get, like, credit updates uh, from, like, my credit cards. Like, they'll say, oh, your credit score has gone up or, like, has changed. And every time I got those alerts, instead of it saying, like, oh, it's going down, it's going up because I'm paying off my balances. So that was really, really cool. Oh, you go play. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so, I mean, like, it's really cool to, like, see myself making progress and not spending money 
And like I said, overall, I do feel a lot happier so far. I haven't been like, man, I really want to go buy that. I literally have everything that I need and I just feel a lot better about it. Um, I guess the only thing I really need to work on is self-care. Like I said, I'm not getting in consistent workouts and I really feel like it's so, so, so important because like when you're out of shape, you can't chase your kids around and stuff. Like today, my mom and I were like kind of hiking through the woods, uh, checking out like the land behind their house and we, we both finally got done. I mean, we did walk a long way. I would say we probably walked over a mile, but when we got back and we did go up hills, but I was like huffing and puffing and that's not like me. Like if you know me, you know, that's, that's not me. So I am focusing on getting back into a routine, obviously after this week, because with work, I leave Wednesday morning. I don't get back till Saturday morning. I have a wedding to shoot on Saturday, and then hopefully Sunday, I can get my life together, um, batch cook some healthy meals, uh, put together some smoothie recipes for in the morning, and then get back to taking care of myself. Um, so that said, this is my update. I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet. I'll show you some of the outfits that I've been wearing or, like, um, things that I've been doing. I, d I did take some pictures of some meals that were healthy, um, trying trying to be healthy. Um, so I guess I can post those, too, and then um, I'll give you guys another update in maybe a month or so. All right, bye. Okay, outfit inspiration number one. I wore this to work one day. thought it was super cute. Found everything in my closet. So this was a more casual look just for a weekend out, but it was cute. Simple, and again, found it in my closet. Threw this outfit together today for church. Again, shopping that closet, girl. Workout, workout, workout. Quick example of some of the healthy food I've been trying to eat. More workouts. This is a typical breakfast for me. Love it. Another favorite breakfast of mine. You can't go wrong with sweet potatoes and eggs. Protein pancakes, sugar-free syrup, and turkey bacon. Snacks on the go. Not too shabby. I was filling myself after this workout, even though those thighs got to go. I to make something healthy for the family. Cook those veggies and you can't taste them. This, of course, is the finished product, pasta fajol soup made by me. So this is about a 40-minute workout in, like, six seconds. It was fun. It was a little dance routine. This was a quick 22-minute hardcore, like, military-style workout. It was 22 minutes, but here it is in 11 seconds. Good times. We'll finish off with some humor. I love this cup. It's amazing. And finally, just to end it up, work's going to get better, and I'm going to do better with my self-care. This is where the video ends, but enjoy this candle. It's hilarious.